everybody needs to eat. And without farmers, we wouldn't have enough to eat. Farmers grow our food. All these things, meat, vegetables, fruit, eggs, milk, cheese, butter, bread, even some kinds of fish and shellfish have been farmed by somebody somewhere in Scotland. Scotland is a good place to farm. The weather's usually kind. It's not too hot and not too cold. We get enough rain for plants to drink and enough sunshine to help them grow. Plants and animals grow well here. We're going to try and show you a little of what Scottish farmers do for you across a year. Spring is when a lot of young animals are born, like these lambs. The cold weather will be gone soon and the grass will start growing again, so there'll be plenty for the mothers to eat. Young animals start life drinking their mother's milk. Milk is a really good food, and it gives all young ones, including human babies, an excellent start in life. We buy our milk in the shops. It comes from cows, and cows only produce milk after they've had a calf. No calf means no milk. Milk is good to drink, but it also goes to make butter, cheese, cream, ice cream, and it's even dried and used to make a lot of other things we eat. This farmer is helping one of his cows give birth. Human babies take nearly a year to learn to walk. Most animals can do it in hours. In just a few short weeks, the young calves are out enjoying the spring grass and the sunshine. Spring is a busy time for the sheep farmer. High in the hills where life is hard, a ewe, which is a female sheep that has given birth to a lamb, might only have one lamb each. But down in the lowlands, sheep have got a much easier life. Lowland ewes regularly have twins or triplets. Sometimes they can even have quads or even quins. That's five lambs from one mother. Sometimes the mother doesn't have enough milk, so the farmer, or even the farmer's children, have to help out with a bottle. Scottish farmers keep a very close eye on their animals, always checking to see that they're fit and healthy. Ewes have a very bad habit of rolling, and they sometimes get stuck upside down. This is known as a cowpit yo. This farmer is just helping this one get back on its feet. Chicken used to be a luxury food. People would only eat it on special occasions like Christmas time or birthdays. Nowadays, modern farming methods mean that chicken is cheap and plentiful. We eat a lot of chicken. This shed contains 19,000 day old chicks. They're very cute at this age, but they grow incredibly fast. Here they are at two weeks. They're raised and fed in these sheds until they reach the perfect size, and then they're sent to the market. The empty sheds are cleaned thoroughly. Hygiene is very important. And when everything is clean and dry again, another 19,000 day old chicks are moved into the shed. Spring is also the time for planting. Livestock farmers keep animals, and they usually plant grass and other crops to help feed those animals. Arable farmers grow crops like wheat, oilseed rape, oats, barley and vegetables for us to eat. Before you plant anything, the ground has to be prepared, broken up with ploughs and harrows to make the soil into what's known as a good tilth. New grass fields are sown with seed and older ones are rolled to firm up the soil around the roots and to push down any stones which might damage machinery later. 
Farmers use satellite navigation systems, similar to those you might have seen in your parents' cars. This is often referred to as precision farming and is used not to find out where they are, but to make sure that the seeds get sown as efficiently as possible. All plants need water, sunshine and food. The foods that plants use are called nutrients and they get them from the soil. If you grow the same crop in the same ground year after year, you run the risk of building up plant pests and diseases and you start to lose the goodness out of the soil. So some farmers practice what's known as crop rotation. Let's just look at this one field. The farmer grows a different crop in this field every year. Year one might be oilseed rape. Year two, he'll plant winter wheat. Then in year three, potatoes. Year four, winter wheat again. In years five and six, spring barley. And then in year seven, he leaves the field in grass. Then the next year, it's back to the beginning again, back to oilseed rape. This is a classic seven-year crop rotation. It keeps the plants and the soil healthy. You can also help to replace the nutrients in the ground with something called fertilizer. Fertilizer can be man-made, chemical fertilizer, which comes in little pellets. Here's some being mixed in with barley seed and sown into the ground. Organic fertilizers are things like farmyard manure or slurry, which are both basically animal poo. Now, that might sound a bit disgusting, but think about it. As grass grows, it sucks up the nutrients, the plant food from the ground. Animals like cattle or sheep eat the grass and the nutrients in the grass, and then they do the toilet. The farmers collect the muck, which still has a lot of the nutrients in it, and they put it back on the land. A golden rule of farming is that whatever you take out of the land, you have to put back in again. By far the most common vegetable grown in Scotland is the potato or tatty. Before they plant tatties, farmers have to prepare the ground. After ploughing and cultivating the land, they set up what's known as deep ridging. A machine takes all the stones out of the soil and lays them either side of raised beds just where the tractor wheels run. Then, at the end of April, two rows of tatties are planted in each bed. 